Hello and welcome to 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Belfet. The royal court has mourned today the demise of Her Highness Sheikh Hala bin Tadaij Al Khalifa, the mother of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praying Allah to grant his mercy and bliss upon her in his vast paradise. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qutabiya Palace the sons of the late His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, Sheikh Ibrahim bin Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, and his grandsons who expressed thanks and gratitude to His Royal Highness for his condolences. His Royal Highness Prime Minister affirmed that His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid was known for his moral virtues and the remarkable achievements he made and the Gulf Cooperation Council countries and the Arab and Islamic worlds, as well as for the historic record about Bahrain that he left for researchers. His Royal Highness stated that His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid was known for his wisdom and his efforts to serve religion and the kingdom, and his memory will live in every field to which he contributed. His Royal Highness asserted that Bahrain and its people will remain grateful for the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid in enhancing national unity, praying to Allah. Allah Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. For their part, the sons and grandsons of the late Hassan Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his kind sentiments and for his appreciation to the deceased for his role in serving Bahrain, emphasizing that his supporting stances relieved their suffering. They wished His Royal Highness abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qutaybiya Palace Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Salah Al Salah, where His Royal Highness reviewed a number of topics related to legislature for the benefit of the country and its people. During the meeting, His Royal Highness noted the role of the Shura Council in the democratic march led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, hailing the Council's keenness to develop the legislative system and enable it to adapt with global financial and economic developments. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister the continuation of government's cooperation with the legislative authority to achieve the aspirations of the people. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the council chairman and the council members for their keenness to cooperate with the government. As Salah expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Premier for his constant directives to cooperate with the Shura Council, affirming that these directives have made cooperation between the two authorities a milestone in the parliamentary process.
The Ashura Council held its weekly meeting today, presided over by its chairman Ali bin Salah al Salah. The council approved a draft law approving the accession of the, Bahre of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the agreement to, the, to establish the Asian Investment Bank in Infrastructure, annexed to Decree Number 22 for the year 2018. The council also recommended the approval of a draft law to ratify the Third Protocol to amend the free trade agreement between the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the government of the United States of America. The Ashura Council discuss the report of the Public Utilities and Environment Committee on a draft law to add Article Number 6 to Decree Law Number 1 for the year 1996 regarding electricity and water. The committee recommended to approve the decision in order to prevent the danger to the safety of individuals or places. The Child's Wish Society hosted a Ramadan iftar for hundreds of children yesterday evening with the support of His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The iftar was attended by 500 children with special needs and others suffering from cancer and incurable diseases. The event was attended by parents, featured games, recreational activities, face coloring, henna decorations and other leisure events. The children were also offered the Eid al-Fitr gifts for the fourth consecutive year. Child's Wish Society Chairperson Manal al Awadi extended deepest thanks to His Royal Highness the Premier, hailing his support to charitable and voluntary work in Bahrain. She lauded His Royal Highness the Premier's initiatives in support of citizens, particularly child patients, to alleviate their pain and bring happiness to their lives. She stressed the keenness of the Child's Wish Society to hold events, functions, and activities which put a smile on the faces of children, especially in Ramadan, known for deep rooted relations which include the iftar, suhoor, ghabga, and Gargaon. Children and parents also extended deepest thanks to His Royal Highness the Premier for his gesture during the holy month of Ramadan, hailing his keenness to reach out to citizens of all age categories.